This is News Trail, your daily dose. Hello there and thanks for connecting. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to News Trail this Monday, 30th August 2021. I am Adetola Kayode. You welcome. The federal government says the Nigeria Medical Association's 21-day ultimatum is in direct collision with the Memorandum of Understanding signed on August 21. Hence, it is rejecting the move. The NME had threatened to join the ongoing strike by the Nigerian Association of Resident Doctors if the government failed to resolve all the issues contained in the various agreements signed with its affiliate unions. The Ministry of Labor and Employment says the NMA's position is at variance with the timeline stated in the Memorandum of Agreement. This ultimatum was part of the resolutions reached during its National Executive Council meeting held in Benin City last week. Are you one of those who have had the first dose of the AstraZeneca vaccine during the first phase of the vaccination exercise? The Lagos State Government will today, Monday 30th of August, resume the administration of second doses of the AstraZeneca COVID vaccine. The administration exercise will hold across 88 vaccination sites used during the first phase of the vaccination exercise for 20 days between Monday 30th August and Friday 24th September 2021. Only those who have taken the first dose of AstraZeneca vaccine and due for the second job are eligible for this exercise, which does not require e-registration. Please note that the two variants of vaccines available now cannot be mixed. Those who are 18 years and above and have not been vaccinated can visit the 183 vaccination centers to receive the Moderna vaccine. That's according to the Lagos State Ministry of Health. With a record of 28 away games without defeat, Mason Greenwood helped Manchester United secure another win with a 1-0 victory over Wolves. Although the recently re-signed forward Cristiano Ronaldo was not present at Molinaire, his presence was felt as Man United's travelling fans sang his name, with the Red Devils expected to confirm the arrival of the five-time Ballon d'Or winner from Juventus to Old Trafford in the coming days for £12.8 million. Amidst the huge excitement over Ronaldo, Ronaldo's return to the club where he first made his name as a world star. There have been questions over what his arrival will mean for the development of Greenwood. As the remains of 11 American service members killed in a suicide bomb attack in Afghanistan emerged on Sunday from a military plane at the base in Delaware, President Joe Biden shut his eyes and tilted his head back on citing the flag-draped cases. Biden, his wife Jill, Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin and senior military officials stood somberly as US U.S. troops carried the cases down the ramp of an Air Force C-17 aircraft at Dover Air Force Base. The 11 service members were among 13 U.S. troops killed in an Islamic State suicide attack on Thursday outside Kabul's airport. None of the fallen service members was over the age of 31, and five were just 20, as old as the war itself. Biden and his wife had earlier met with grieving family members of some of the fallen American service members. And that's it on Easter for today. Many thanks for connecting. Please do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Adetola Kayade. And it's Monday, people. It's the first working day of the week, at least officially. And no matter the obstacles you're facing, ensure you get a new perspective. You know why? It is not permanent. Have a terrific week.